This episode of the Rogue Deck Builder is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, the number one source for games and gaming accessories, and by GatheringMagic.com, the number one source for Magic the Gathering news. Hi there, this is Kevin with GatheringMagic.com here with the bonus video with the updated version. Uh, we would like to keep this hand. It's a decent hand with a thought season and Aractos' return. Hopefully it's not incredibly aggressive. Go up against an overgrown tomb and it looks like probably is going to be a Elvish Mystic. Okay, so it is going to be an aggressive deck. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and thought seize here. And Anger of Gods will be great. It'll, this will give us tons of information. So Sylvan Carotid, Sylvan Carotid, Grizzly Salvage, Rescue from the Underworld, Commune with the God. Um, we're going to get rid of his Grizzly Salvage here. We don't want to have any sort of lands. He kept a one lander. He can carotid here, which is what he's going to do. And then hopefully we can we can just blow him out of the water with an anger of the gods. So carotid comes down. He's got another one in his hand, which he'll probably cast next turn, the following turn. And, oh, we still need to draw into a, a another red source. So let's see if that can happen. He gets his land anyway. So what did he have for four... Sylvan Carotid, and he can commune with the gods. Which finds him an Armada Worm, which is going to come out next turn. So I have to I have to draw into a... No, he doesn't take it. What did he take? Sent our healer? Why in the world did you take a... Oh, because he's going to plan on rescuing the under... from the Underworld onto the Armada Worm. But... Yeah, so I, I have to... It's it's do or die here. Well, I have a turn to draw land. I can thought seize that out of his hand now. So, which will be the case. Yeah. I'm going to thought seize. Take out the rescue from the underworld. And this just makes him have kind of an awkward draw. He can play the centaur healer. And then I can just wipe him out with an anger of the gods. Or he can mute with the gods again and try to find something. He'll do both. He'll end up doing both, yeah. So he's gonna he's gonna he he should commune first. And no, he decides to do it the other way around. Again, a red source is game. I will Rakdos return for one next turn if I need to. What else does he have in his hand though? Well, oh yeah, we'll be able to Rakdos for two and get those out of his hand. So whatever he takes, takes the Angel of Serenity. Yeah, and so I'm going to be able to get those out at least. And then we're on to top deck mode. What's the chance that he actually draws into a land next turn? Because I kind of want Underworld Connections here. We could play it safe. I, I have to Underworld Connections here. I have to. I have to try to find that third land source. And so if he does just draw into a land here for his Angel of Serenity... Ugh, then I'm just, it's just good game, good game, but I, if not, I just get beat down by a, a centaur healer, maybe I should Aractos there, did he get the land, doesn't look like he got the land, no, he did not, okay, so he's stuck with something else in his hand, I hope it's like another weenie, either way, I can still, ca I can still Aractos return these out of his hand, which I will do, okay, another weenie, again, Anger of Gods just, Completely blows him out of the water. See if it is. A dread boar. Alright, let's draw a card. No, we did not get that double source, but we can do a Rakdos return for two. Get that Angel of Serenity out of his hand. And he's back to it's back to top deck mode. And I think I'm in a little better position than he is. Because the anger of God just shuts him down. But he meant an Opsidot top deck. A, and it looks like looks like he's just gonna be attacking me for five. We have a gray merchant that can come out, unless what a double black, a whip, but he can't he can't quite activate it. So again, we need that double. We need that red source here. No red source. So whip whip of Erebos just kills me next turn, right? So I, I've got to go for it. I've got to draw a card. And no, that's that's not going to do it. Um, yeah, we can't we can't double kill stuff anyway. He just whips back. 
Hero's Downfall, Dreadboar, Dreadboar. <laughs> um, Grain Merchant only gains us four. That might actually do it, because then he'll, he has to spend his mana. No, because we can only block one. Well, because he gets back the Angel Serenity, which exiles my Grey Merchant. And then I just lose. Wow. Okay. So can't draw the, the, the double red source to save my life. And then he, t again, a nice, uh, a nice top deck. We're in a top deck mode. Ugh. All right. So that is game. We'll go on to it. This should be an easy matchup for me. Um, we bring in anything that kills early stuff. We bring in the Light Bane Zombies because it exiles everything. We bring in the Anger of the Gods because, yeah, I actually don't even think I care about, like, ultimate prices. Um, ultimate prices are fine. No, we can just go for the, the Heroes Downfall Dreadbores are better. Devour Flesh Doomblade Ultimate Price combo. Thought Seasons are fine. Duresses are fine. Um, Cures, we don't need them. Slaughter Games is fine. We can get stuff out of the graveyard. I guess Thought Seasons we actually don't need. Yeah, I, I, I don't need the Thought Seizes. And we'll submit it like this. So yes, we'd like to play first. Don't want him to have an aggressive draw. Uh, we can start off with the Guild Gate. We have a Hero's Downfall. We have Rakdos' Return that can take the cards out of his hand. Hopefully that is the, the key to winning this matchup. So at first turn, he could have another Elf. See if we can find Anger of Gods because we have the Double Red. There is the Anger of Gods. All right, so next turn, I hope a Carotid comes out here and an Elf. And then we can just blow him out of the water. And I might be able to last like one more turn. Depends if he if he double casts as a carotid and an elf. Grizzly salvage. Okay, he's just gonna grab a land, so I have time. And he can't grab that whip. He just does grab a land here. Forest. Gonna do one. So there's no point here to do anything. We can always hear his downfall anything he puts out. We could hear his downfall the elf if we wanted to. So I'm hoping again a double double creature comes out. Sin Collector. Alright, sure. He's gonna get my anger of the gods, most likely. But we got a disciple that can come out next turn. Yep, the Anger of Gods comes out. It's going to take one from the Elvish Mystic. Lightbeam Zombie would be great here. Chandra's Pyromaster is actually a lot better. So we're going to be able to get rid of the Sin Collector. And this will give us some card advantage. So you can't really ramp up to anything too problematic that we can't deal with quite yet. But we do have to worry about our model worms. Next turn. And we still have a hero's downfall for it anyway. Woo, okay. I know what he's doing here. I know what he's doing. He's uh he's rescuing from the underworld and angel serenity, unfortunately. <laughs> That that's what's going down. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. He's got the rescue in his hand. So we got to hold up mana for the hero's downfall. So I'm just gonna try to find a land here, and it is a land. Okay. So now we can just put out a key rune, and that'll allow us to kill off the angel of serenity when he rescues here. Which is going to allow him to get back quite a few cards. Quite a, yeah, quite a few cards. And it's part of the casting cost that he, that he casts the, the rescue. So I can't even respond to it. Yeah. Alright. So I can't remember how the... Yeah, it comes into play at the beginning of his upkeep. So that's when we'll... Well, Hero's Downfall. So actually, they won't have... They'll have Summoning Sickness at the moment. But he gets to bring these back. And he, he only gets he only gets a Sin Collector out of it. 
which is fine and we'll we'll kill it in response I think and so targeting All right, so not much card advantage there. None at all, actually. But our Mod Worm could be quite scary. Another Sin Collector. It's going to get a Rakdos Return. It's the only thing he can get. But we'll be able to ping that down and Rakdos away the rest of his, his hand. So in fact, it might be better just to kill off that Mystic. Um, and then, yep, that's four we can get out of his hand. Unless he has another rescue from the underworld. But he, I think he would have used it there if he would have. Oh, yeah, he, does, he can't use it anyway. What am I talking about? He's tapped out. So he gets a Lux and a Smiter. <laughs> They can now kill my Chandra. Ah, this game. But he's still back to top deck mode. They do have to kill the Chandra off. So I wish I would have killed this in collector instead of the Mystic. Did not expect the Smiter to come down. Um, if we care about the Smiter, we can actually kill it next turn. With the Liliana. But I think I'll just plus Lily and make him attack into it. And, well... Yeah, so Disciple's useless here. Mutaval is kind of useless. We, we can actually... We're just going to go for it. We're going to kill him. Punish him for that move here. Now he is down to a three. Put out another Mutaval, and we are definitely in the driver's seat. One card in hand. It is a godless shrine. He's got to lead back blockers now, which Lily's going to come in and then kill his, his locks and smiter. Unfortunately, now we can't activate anything, though. We can activate a key rune. Whoa! Actually, you know what? I can't actually even kill a... A smiter. That is sad, sad, sad. Because it just gives him negative three. What I can do is activate a mutavol and then attack, but then he just he just goes for the sin collector. Wow. Okay. So we're not out of this still. And I'm gonna draw a card here. We do get the activation on the key rune. We can activate both. We can now kill off the Smiter. Or we can make him... You know what? I, I think I'm going to make him search... Well, we'll kill off the Smiter. And he's still got to find an answer now. So he's tapping a lot of lands, so this looks like it's going to be an Opsa aid for a Trostani. There's a Trostani summoner in there? You're joking. <laughs> oh, this has been my day. Holy top deck after top deck after top deck. Jeez. And I don't even know what I can do against that. I mean, uh, Anger of Gods will be great. Do I, do I took them out, though, didn't I? <laughs> but, I mean, my, my key rune can... can at least block forever. <laughs> I just cannot believe this. This is this is one of those days. All right, and there's some games I didn't end up even taping too that were just like this. I was playing a UW control list, and he kept a six land hand. And I first turn thought seized, found nothing, of course, with the six land. Second turn he draws into a divination, and I thought seized that away. So I'm like, oh, I'm still good. And he, he he proceeds to draw into Sphinx's revelations that I can't deal with. Okay, so Lightning Zombie's useless. We're going to draw a card here. This is a pointless card. Uh, 
Um, but we'll play it. We'll play the Light Bean Zombie because it is something he cannot block. So again, he has to find an answer. Jostani Summoner. Okay, so he's yeah, he's got to find... I don't think there's anything he can do here. Right? Unless he gets a whip of Erebos. No, Sylvan Carotid, he's dead next turn. Okay, so sweet. So, and he can't do 14 damage. So, I'm definitely going to keep in. Oh, no, he can Sin Collector. He can block a Sin Collector. So, we'll, we'll Muta Vault. We'll double Muta Vault. No, do we want to double Muta Vault? I'll just take the four. Tech, tech, tech. Activate, activate. So we'll double block the centaur. Kill it off. And hopefully draw into something we can use. Yeah, these Disciple Phenoxes were awful. I definitely need to get rid of them for Angers. Mountain is nothing we can use here. Lightbane Zombie is going to force him to block the Sin Collector. And I guess I, I, I should have activated Rakdos Key in an attack there too. It would have forced him to block with a Knight token. But I kind of want to leave it back. Will Zombie again force him to find yet another answer? Whip is an answer. And we can first strike down any of these. <laughs> So let's see if he see if he gets like another offside aid for another sin collector. No, okay. Thank thankfully top deck number the the other top decks do not happen. Duress is actually pretty decent versus his hand. I think Doomblade's fine. He's got so much stuff Doomblades can kill. That's better than Disciple of Phenox. Um uh, Cure can actually take care of stuff. Ultimate Price Doomblade's better than Ultimate Price, I do believe. Uh, well, Devour Flesh might be better because it can get rid of a Sylvan, Sylvan Carotid. Or, I'm, I'm actually thinking that Thought Seizes are really good. So that was pro probably a mistake for me to take out the Thought Seizes. And even now, now I'm, I'm wondering if Grey Merchants are the right play here. Or Rakdos Return or Slaughter. Well, Slaughter Games is, is, is too good. I think I'm going to take out the Hero's Downfalls, actually. And put back, the Thought Seizes will be fine. So we'll submit this. We are on the draw this time. This is a great hand. We get to get rid of whatever his reanimation strategy, like a whip is, first turn. And then have the Underworld Connections to give us subsequent card advantage. So that will be our play. And he's got double whip. You're kidding me. Well, the Abrupt Decay is actually the best thing to get rid of. I mean, I could get, go for the Whip, but we need card advantage, so Abrupt Decay is the way to go. And hopefully get that Life Bane Zombie before the Armada Worm comes out. That is the plan. Well, there's Slaughter Games for the Whip, but I don't believe we are going to be able to race it. So it will be Armada Worm that we can Slaughter Games, though. So still no whip, but whip will come out next turn if, unless we have a... Yeah, that's not going to do it. Um, all right. So whip comes out, but I know he's got an armada worm. So we will get the armada worm.
And then I know he's got another whip in his hand. Which, he's got to rescue the Underworld. And this actually gets rid of two more threats, two more Ar Armada Worms from his library, making his Grizzly Salvages a lot weaker. Uh, yeah, so we are in very good shape. Should be able to start getting card advantage. No, he's got another whip and a rescue in his hand. Should have taken a look at his deck more thoroughly. I'll get rid of Trostani Summoners if that's the next thing I get rid of. Uh, I'm going to draw a card here. And we could Thought Seize him, but I think the better play is just to string these Unreal Connections. I'm going to go ahead and draw a card here as well. I guess I shouldn't have done that because that gives him more info with Sin Collector. But he looks like he's he's getting mana flooded. And I guess the right play... I'm just going to Thought Seize right now because I know it actually gets rid of a card. Oh, wow. So it's going to be the Rescue from the Underworld. And the Life Bane is going to get rid of the Angel Serenity that he drew into. And then we can actually throw this Rakdos Gilgate. And now I'm not going to give him more information with the Sin Collector. So again, he, he's still in top deck mode where he can top deck some decent stuff. But with double card advantage here, he's going to have a problem. So Sin Collector, Locks and Smiter is going to come out here. Definitely okay with that. There's another Unreal Connection, so Grey Merchant's going to give us a lot of damage eventually. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw some cards. I'm going to draw another card. Wow. Okay. I'm going to Unreal Connections again on another Blood Crypt, and we'll keep that up. Attacking with a Lipane Zombie. Get him down to a 17. He's going to be gaining life here, though. I know the last card in his hand is a Whip of Erebos. There's another Life Bane Zombie. So here, I think, is just, we just start pumping out the Grey Merchants. And drawing cards. Wow. Okay, there's the other, other Grey Merchant. That should be able to get him next turn. Because that's an insane amount of damage we're going to be able to, to pump out. So, barring anything extremely cataclysmic like a Angel Serenity that takes both of these, yeah, is, is yeah, we would have been able to, to Grey Merchant next turn. All right, so we win one. Finally, like, it took me forever to showcase that. The horrible, horrible, awful luck streak hopefully is snapped. Uh, again, I, I can't em emphasize this so much. You just have to roll with that in Magic. I've seen too many people go into, they go to like a GP or a, a Grand Prix or a PTQ, and th that happens where they're, they're putting top decks every answer, and they, they get stuck on lands and whatnot. And I just see so many people burn out because of that. You just have to take a break. Know that this happens in Magic. Know that to, to win an actual major tournament is going to take... Uh, the right cards, you're drawing the right cards, of course, and and a good deck and skill. So all those three components have to be there. Otherwise, you know, the, you see a bunch of people like Reed Duke and um, like John Finkel and Brian Kibler, all these all these uh, superstars win a lot of stuff. But you guys would be surprised at how many, I mean, the sheer volume of Grand Prix and pro tours and just just tournaments that they are doing that's why their name is popping up as much as it does just the absolute sheer volume of 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 these tournaments and eventually if you're a good player you'll get that win um i've been quite lucky in the, the most major major tournaments i've only done two grand prix in my lifetime 
uh, and a, a one star CD open and one PTQ, able to top 16 a PTQ and able to win a P or, or top 16 a, a star CD open and win a PTQ. But I mean, in, in some of these non major streamers, like, like here, I just went 0 and 5 on MTGO. MTGO does have a lot better competition, I would say, than your local game store does. Uh, some local game stores, of course, that are just this, uh, just you know, you might have a better play group there than than most local game stores. But but usually I in 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 Paper Magic I zero and five is is basically especially in a tournament when you start getting paired down and whatnot. These were just two man queues, so you're up against people that that really believe in their deck and the two man queues and have a good chance of winning. But anyway, where was I going with this train of thought? Yeah, I just just I just want to emphasize that the magic you just have to roll with the losses, roll with the bad luck, and eventually it will catch up to you, and you'll get you'll get that time where, like my PTQ win, where everything was going great, I was top decking when I needed a top deck, my opponents weren't top decking when I they needed a top deck, I think I only mulled a total of like four or five times the entire tournament, uh, never really had any molds to four or molds to five, I think the mold of five that I did have was like the best five hand I could imagine, and you know, when all the, the, the stars align, that's when you're actually going to get that 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 tournament win so anyway i'm a bit a little bit frustrated gonna take a break from magic for a while as these these games were incredibly grinding i wanted to showcase the power that this deck could have it was funny that when i was playtesting this before i started doing the videos it was just like i was going against mono black almost every game like esper mono black you white just having the time of my life uh, taking out their decks, and then when I started queuing up, it was all aggro. So now that I've changed around my deck, I think that this 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 whole new version could actually uh, hold hold its own against aggro a lot better. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, the the O and five. I, I I'll probably put up I'll put up most of those losses. Uh, hopefully, we'll get it to as many videos as possible. If there is only three losses on there, uh, know that I've cut a video series. Uh, some of them were quite fast. And uh, maybe I'll up the, those eventually, but for time constraints, I'll probably just stick to the four videos here. This is Kevin with GatheringMagic.com. Thanks for watching.